Good evening, everyone. My name is Angela Mills. I work for the town of Amherst. This is a meeting of the Public Arts Commission. And due to suspension of open meeting laws by Governor Maura Healy, this meeting will happen via Zoom and will later be uploaded to the town of Amherst YouTube channel. At this time, I would like to recognize Tom Morger and Terry Holt and turn the meeting over to them. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Okay, so um, good evening, everyone. Hi there. Okay. Do we know if Mikey will be joining oh, us? Oh, oh, oh. Um, Mikey is uh, just possible. She wasn't sure. Now I'm getting okay. a message that I'm that that host screen sharing is disabled. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is looking better. Thank. And is Jim going to make it today? Well, he had replied that he could. Okay. Well, while we're waiting, I think we can uh, read over the minutes from last month. So we can yep. okay, be I've prepared got them, for um, that. I'm sharing them on the screen here, if you can see those. They're, they're very spare because the recording didn't take. So I had to... Oh, no. I had to wing it. Um, I... I believe that because it's a little complicated, but I think because uh, Angela is the quote unquote owner of this Zoom account, uh, I think only she can launch the recording. Oh, we'll see. It. I. I do have an indication on my screen that it is recording now, so I hope that hope helps helps for next time. Oh, the minutes look good to me. So, Laura, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. There's a very lot going on during the spring. And sorry, I, I was unable to be at so many of the meetings. Oh, it's good to see you. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to, to see Robert up. dropped out or has finished. How long was he um, on the commission? Um, he got in, uh, in 2022, didn't he? Is that correct? I think it has the, the date on the website. Oh. Let's see. Let's see more about the members. Um, this here. Oh, how says vacancy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, but I, I thought it was 2022, but I'm not sure. Okay. Are there any uh, other comments, additions, corrections to these minutes? And I just have a question. Yeah. It's not an objection. Mm -hmm. um, how did it come about to, to be a general agreement to say the commission does not wish to be the sole judge of the worthiness of quality of proposed artworks? Mm -hmm. I think maybe I was stretching it a bit there. The discussion <laughs> I was remembering um, was that we would we would like to see some backing for a proposal, some evidence that the person has um, that it's not just somebody, just one person's idea, that it's been um, seen and reacted to by other people that's roughly the way i remember remember it 
I just I feel like if if one of the items on the new agenda for today indicates that the commission would like to seek funding from the town, mm -hmm. it's probably not a good idea to say does not wish to be such and such. It would probably be better to word it positively, like the commission would like to enlist. Okay. You know, appropriate art artists or other others who mm -hmm. would consult with the commission. Uh, gotcha. You know? yeah, I think that's an idea. excellent idea. Yeah. Turn it into I, a positive. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can amend it that way. Um, yeah. I think that's an excellent idea. I think that's 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 great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other comments, suggestions, questions? Okay, could I hear a move uh, motion to approve the minutes? I, I, I move to okay. approve. Thank you, Dara. Seconds from somebody? It seems like Terry, they're all you're, gone. you're muted, Terry. Okay. Okay, the got it. I'm not seconding as right. I wasn't there, so I, okay, feel like got I it. can't participate. Yes, I understand. Um, I, understand. I would say uh, I approve with the changes that Dara suggested. Yes. Okay. Accept it on, we'll accept it with that uh, uh, friendly amendment. Okay. Um, good. Then let's, um, let's step to the agenda, which I have on the screen here. Um, uh, just, I just want to say just a, uh, a very few things about the percent for art. One is that I've not heard anything back um, from the town manager about uh, moving forward with that uh, aspect of the elementary school project. I have asked him twice or it's kind of nudged him twice, asking him uh, whether he needed more assistance from us right now. And he's not responded to that. I will note that the project appears to be several months delayed now. Apparently uh, bids to do the actual building as opposed to the digging of the foundation those bids for the construction are due in August. And last I saw, the town is expecting to have those um, analyzed and ready for decision in September. That, I think they were originally planning to do that in April, hmm. last April. So they are delayed. Um, what will happen at that stage, I don't know. Um, part of it may, and I'm just speculating here, part of it may de depend on whether the, uh, they get back a bid they feel they can accept, unlike the situation with the library. Mm -hmm. uh, because if they can't, if they don't have a bid they can use, then I think we go into months of additional delay um, and also probably a higher risk that the town council might override the per percent for art if they're feeling really mm -hmm. pressed on finances. I'm just speculating on that. I don't have any more information than any of you do uh, about that. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. I guess if we get when we get closer to that going through, we could make an appointment with with Paul and then um, you know make a meeting with him, and then he'll he'll have to answer us you know yep. then. But right yeah. now it seems a little premature anyway. Yeah, I I, I agree with that, uh, Terry. That's that sounds good. Okay. Um. So. Uh, the I see really two agenda items for the balance of the meeting today. 
One is to look at the submissions for the traffic control boxes and see if we can decide. And, the, uh, and then the other is to go back to the, our ongoing discussion of APAC mission and policies procedures. And I, I do have some thoughts and notes to share when we get to that, try to move us along so we don't just keep uh, having to figure out each time where to pick it up. Okay, so for Electrify Amherst, um, let me again change the screen here. That's not it. That's not it. There we go. Okay, so I have the name of the artist under each of the images here. So I'll, I'll run through them just quickly once, and then we can we can get to deliberating on them. So that's Aguilar, Rousseau, and as noted, that's a. Uh, that uh, caterpillar looks very Eric Carlish. <laughs> and this one is from El Cali. This was uh, the last minute, you know, right on the deadline. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. So as you can see, um, she has a a pencil sketch. And then some color swatches indicating um, how she was planning to proceed with the execution of it. Now it's got Fort River, it's got Crocker Farm, Wildwood. Is there another one? Maybe it's under that line there. Okay, I presume she has them all named. Okay. Okay. Now here, this is the first of several that this person, folks, put in. Um, this one looks an awful lot like uh, Antoine de Saint Exupéry, the little print, the little prince. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. This is her second submission. Mm -hmm. Here's number three from her. And all right, in the night kitchen, that was my one of my children's favorite favorite books. So we have a copyright question here. And the graphics are at least in the style of the book, if not from it. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. This is from Hamel. I was ready to toss in the towel when I saw this one, but uh, be that as it may. And this one from Herrick. And here's from Keaton. And this is the last of them from Porter. Looks sort of like Lake Tully to me. They just going back up to the top. Um, now, with reference to the copyright questions, the artist contract, which I will, I, I did send you all just a few minutes before the meeting, and that we can look at again. That does have a, a section where the artist is asked to affirm that they have. There are no there are no copyright questions. They have, you know, it's it's original and clear ownership on their part. 
like the the Eric Carl one, if you can get permission from the estate to use the caterpillar, mm -hmm. but it has to be approved before we consider using yeah. it. Well, I'm same with the other ones. I was thinking about that too, Dara, and you know, it might take it might take a while. Yeah. To get. The, the clearance but you know if we really love one of these you know maybe that's the right thing to do is to yeah is, no, is... no i don't think it should eliminate anything yeah. yeah i think that it is the artist's responsibility to get the copyright though not us yeah mm -hmm. good yeah but um i think in some cases you can apply online for it mm -hmm. and if you're clear enough in your request mm -hmm. Especially yeah. being that it's in Amherst and it's the Eric Carl Museum is here, yeah, be a good chance they're going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. Yeah, one of the things that people tend to forget about copyright is that if the copyright holder uh, is agreeable and feels that the publicity yeah. is in your favor, they're quite possible. It's quite possible to just say yes. Yeah, so you shouldn't fear it. You shouldn't fear copyright. No, you have to respect it, but uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Can how are we going to proceed? Okay, well, um, I wonder if we can do it kind of as a start with a straw vote to see whether there there's one of these that that everybody really likes, and then sort of move through. Remember. Just re as a reminder, we have three, um, three yeah. we can we we can use. Yeah. So Tom, real quick before we proceed, um, the one from Althea Keaton with the butterflies, uh, is oh I see that's so that's the sketch that she wants to put on it. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I, there was other pictures in the email. I guess it was pictures of boxes she's done already. So okay, yes. forget it. Yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. Okay, she, could we could we el eliminate some? Yes, we can do that. Yeah, I um, think that would help us narrow yeah. down to because three is not that many. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we have a? Do we have any? Anybody can call out. Do they have one they'd like to eliminate? I did want to say for the record how lovely these are and how grateful I am to all the people who submitted submitted some art. That's great. It's really good to have choices. Mm -hmm. We'll put that in the we'll, I'll put that in the minutes on behalf. Yes, that'd be great. That's um, good. Thank you. Um uh, I, I'm a little concerned about Hamel's Hamel Hamel. Um yeah. only because uh reproducing this as a not computer graphic might be tricky. Um but it's lovely. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying to think of how. I mean, if, so it's, this is a, a sketch. It's a computer sketch, which is totally um, doable. Um, the thing that we aren't doing in these requests for art is that we're not asking. We're not sending out an RFQ. We're not saying, "Do you have the qualifications to actually paint this on a on a box?" Right. Yeah, we kind of took we kind of took a shortcut and said, "Hey, send us yeah. sketches." It's very easy to produce a lovely um, computer sketch. Lots of folks do graphic uh, design on computers. I'm one. Um, but we, what we didn't say is, can you produce this using paint on metal box? So uh, if we choose something like this, uh, I mean, we have to kind of find out, like we're either having to assume that they can make it just like this or we'll have to find out if they can. That's my only concern. Oh, I really like it, it's cute. Okay. Um I I want to vote to to exclude this one. Uh I second that. Yeah, we our theme was the youth of Amherst. <laughs> uh, it wasn't, you know, scare the public to death. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking really, you That's, know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so throwing off some artistry maybe. Well, maybe yeah, I agree with you about that, but I, we need to eliminate it from this yeah. round. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And and the F O U L K E S person yes. who yes. submitted so many. Yeah. 
how do we deal with that? I think we choose the best of the ones of she, they submitted. Um, choose the one that we like. I think uh -huh. that's the way we would do that. Is she is she the one? I can't remember which person. It, it has done a lot of electric boxes around the area. I did not um, read the. There was one person who was somehow one, or another, huh? Who we just mentioned that person a few minutes ago. Was it? Was it Keaton? Uh, she. she Althea, the, yeah, Althea Keaton. I think she's yeah, done she, a couple in the past. Yeah, in yeah, Belchertown. Yeah. yeah, Belchertown and Northampton, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. Which yeah. which shows that she knows. I, I'm assuming pronouns. Uh, assuming that she knows what she's doing, if she's yeah. already got some in production, that you know that makes yeah. me yeah. feel a little more confident that she could make this happen. Well, I'm I'm glad to hear that that, that you know she gave us that background because. Uh, this design here with the butterflies, the the very horizontal format uh, doesn't exactly match the traffic boxes, but I but I would trust that that she could make it make it work. Well, the thing about the horizontal presentation is that she's she's done it so that it encompasses all yeah. the sides. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. if you do just a vertical, then you, we don't know. Yeah. It has to wrap around. So well, here's a, here's a line. Horizontal. Those are the people who actually know what they're doing. Yeah, so here's a line, support. and then here's another line, so it could wrap that way. And there's another one to the left of that. Yeah. No, yeah, right. I think those are the four and panels, lines. two sides, and two lines, the front yeah. and back. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I would eliminate the one that had the color blotches. Yeah, I agree with you, Lori. Okay. Which one is that? Um, coming to it. I actually can't view the second screen for that some one. reason. I don't know why. So if you'll just tell me the last name so I can figure out which one it okay, is. Okay, that was uh, that is El Cali, where she had the pencil sketch and then the color swatches. Oh, okay. All right, so that's two down. Okay, so we have the caterpillar, which is Prosso. Aguilar, this again is going to be, have to be a, a wrap. But. Um, I'm just, I think what they have in mind there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to be comfortable with that. Yeah, I am too. That's fine. Okay, so um, if we're looking at all of folks' designs here, um, these would be difficult to wrap around a box. They're lovely. Um, I mean, maybe is this, <laughs> I don't think she's giving us four separate, like this isn't like, this is this side, this, this side, like she's sending four submissions, right? Not yes. just one with different panels, okay. So yes. all of these would be lovely for a front panel, but I don't know what yes. you would do for the side or the back panels. Well, don't know that you'd necessarily have to. I, you know, we, we didn't- Depending on location, I guess. I mean, uh, maybe we didn't specify that in the ask and that's our did we? Yeah, did we say that they wrapped around? No. Oh, that's no. too bad, because they wouldn't yeah. they wrap around. Yeah, yeah. They, they do. They do. Um, I th we may have given an indication of the front side dimensions of it. I'm trying okay. to remember. Why don't we look at the ones that can wrap around for this first round, and there'll be another round another time. Okay. All right. So here's Aguilar at the top is a uh, evident wrap around. We said approximately three feet by four feet is what we said. We didn't say yeah. how many panels oh, that that's too something. bad yeah we'll get it right next time yeah yeah that'd be good i should have compared I like that, that one. to the ones we do yeah i like the frogs and and the ice skating thing but i, I do too best. i do too so yeah in the night kitchen they i don't know why they had to put the title on there because that's yeah. The, yeah that's the most mm -hmm. right just like the book yeah yeah yeah, I think if you choose one of of her illustrations, you should pick. You know, which one do you like the most? You know, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like one first, personally. I think that's really neat. The little prince there. Well, I, I don't know about the copyright for that. Oh, is that is that what the cover looks like? I, you know, I well, the, I mean, the, the figure time. is the prince. Yeah, that's the prince. Who can say, take the prince out and leave the ladybugs? <laughs> yeah, I doubt. I don't think the ladybugs were in. The, I think the lady the, without the prince would be okay, and it would be a fine picture. Yeah. I I would like it. I think a copyright would be infringed if just for a figure that looks like a character from a, a book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a big deal, but especially for classic books. Well, actually, for anyone. Yeah, I like the frogs. I like the ice skating. So either one of those would be good, I think. And that one's okay. Mm -hmm. Which one is that? Keaton. Keaton. The butterflies. Ah, yes. And again, if we're looking at the what the at the designs that's seem ready for the wrap wrap around execution this keaton one does appear to be in that category um, this one the porter i like the like the all of the folks um submissions is approximately the right dimensions for the for the uh, front panel for a front panel Well, I guess we could have different ones on a one box, couldn't we? Um, I don't think so. The boxes, the box, the sides are only about a foot. Yeah, I've, a foot wide. I've been looking at them a lot because of us doing this, you know, more than mm -hmm. yeah. Northampton has a couple of really great ones. Yeah, I hope that we, as we go further into this project, we start getting more submissions. I. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for the ones can. we have, but it'd be be nice to have more to choose from. Yeah. But yeah. I think we probably can by well, we also need to be a little bit more specific of what we're asking, but yeah. Um, and we can also solicit, you know, some we can do some soliciting, and yeah. I don't mean yeah. individual people necessarily, mm -hmm. but that's okay too. Yeah. But mm -hmm. but just um mm -hmm. places where artists gravitate. Mm -hmm. and, you know, there's that Valley Arts newsletter. Have y'all mm -hmm. You know, yeah, we we yeah we publicized. You had something in there, yeah. Yeah, we publicized the town gal the gallery shows there. Yeah, well, we can put <laughs> announcements. We can call for art in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. and 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 you can they can be pretty long calls. Mm -hmm. I've noticed reading mm -hmm. it, so mm -hmm. it would be good to get mm -hmm. that out there. I also feel like if we did some flyers too and put them around in certain places. Yeah, it could be good, you know, like at this yeah, the library Prince studio, mm -hmm. the, you know, where artists go, yeah. the library. Yeah. Um, Let's keep that thought for when we talk about, I don't know that we'll get to it necessarily today, but when we talk about a budget submission, mm -hmm. you know, so we, we can do some pr uh, printing. Okay. Well, can we start settling on some? Yeah. So um, I, I like this last one, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> Which, Which one, one is it? This one, the Porter one. It's nice, mm -hmm. but it's not. I don't think it's my favorite. It doesn't. No. It doesn't say Amherst to me. It it says um, camping out in the country. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a, and it's a TP camping. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we can probably call. We'll, I think we'll I would eliminate, that eliminate that Let's one. eliminate that one. Yeah. Okay, so that's Porter. All right. How we? I like this one. Mm -hmm. Which one is that one? This is Keaton, the butterflies. I like that too. I do wish it had a child in it or something, but I, I really do like it. It's beautiful. I move to, to, to that be one of our three choices. Okay. I agree. I yeah, second that. Too. I agree. You know, okay. um, um, I, I can supply the child. When, when my son <laughs> started kindergarten uh, at Fort River, his wonderful kindergarten teacher 
jump right in on monarch butterflies. And it was that week. And we had monarch butterflies all over the yard at home. Oh, sweet. So for me, that that's what it reminded me of. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. And experienced um, utility box painters are, are on my list. It makes things a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, so some of these that have just a front panel, we can always just continue the a color on the back if it's one of those that well, are yeah. in a... You yeah, know, we could also kind of make a consistent back. That'd be fine. We could also uh, advise the artist that if they wish, they can they can carry around to the sides. As long as it stays the same message, if they, you know what I mean, you <laughs> be careful yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, uh, that could that could bite us. You're what you're doing is approving an art, and if you just say, "Oh, do what you want, artist," then we're screwed. <laughs> I don't think that's always true. Well, no. I think we. I don't want to open myself up for that kind well, of trouble. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, okay. No, I understand. But uh, what I'm saying is that is that um, several of these artists uh, seem to have adopted our dimensions. Right. Um, yeah, that's on. You know, they might. You know, just as when you're printing a photograph, you might choose to expand or crop it differently for a different use anyhow anyhow i did digress unhelpfully um <laughs> i'd love to see one of the folks either the either the um either the frogs or the ice skating i'd, I'd rather see two of those than... i like the skater okay. i like the skater too yeah okay let's skater, vote. i would vote for the skater but well, go ahead and nominate, like say to. Uh well, so let's it. let's how many? Okay, so how many have we already chosen? We've chosen one, one. so far, right? Okay, um, I would like to choose folks three as one of our selections. I, I propose it. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Let's I second I'll that. Approved. Um. Did we did we choose one here further down the list? We did. We chose um that one. Uh, oh, Keaton. 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 Yes. Okay. We all chose Keaton as well. So we have. So Keaton. we have two. Yep, we have Keaton and we have folks three. Mm -hmm. And then for our third one, um, I want to nominate the Aguilar one. I think that's nice. That's the top, the first one there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, unless there's, I really like the Hamill one too, though. So I don't know. I'm kind of, I like both of those a lot. Actually, like I like Hamill better. I'm just nervous about. I need. I think I need to read uh the his that person's biography. I haven't. I didn't read his materials. Um, do you have them in front of you, Tom? Um. That was Hamill. H A M E L. Just to see if, if this person is experienced in doing painting. Um, let's see. This is Hamill. Okay, Julie Hamill. Um, well, we have an address. This is Julia Hamill, and she's in Granby. And uh, that's all. <laughs> Do we not have more information about her? I guess we don't. Okay. Well, I just Googled her. Thank you. I was about to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Studio Pencil. art. I mean, there's a Jul Julia Hamill who studied studio art at Greenfield Community College. Went to South Hadley High. That's her from her Facebook. Yep, I see her too. So if she studied art, maybe we can assume that she's got this. Um, if that's the case, I would nominate that because it's a it's a beautiful. I really like it. Oh, I prefer the Eric Carl one. 
because it's more, uh, it, it has more individual artists working it. The Eric Carl one, which one? You the know? Little Caterpillar. Way up at the top. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His expression. Yeah, I actually like that one better myself. And what about the one above it? We said yes to that one. Did we? I think so, yeah. didn't we? Doesn't that mean we have three? So yeah, we get one more. We get four? No, we have two, and we need one more. So oh, we I can thought. have the Eric Carl Caterpillar, but we can't have the Little Prince? No, no. They would have to get permission, too. Okay. Everybody would. There would be contingent upon the artist taking responsibility for acquiring copyright permission for the work to proceed. Okay, and you know, so if they haven't done that, it's a good thing for an artist to learn that. So we're between these two that are on the screen right now. The only thing about the Eric Carl one, I'll call it. Yeah. Um, well, it's definitely it, that. It's a it's a drawing. I, I really like for Amherst and the books. I like the books and the I like it. I like it. I I'm not sure what it'll translate like um, from a drawing to a painting. It's too sketchy looking to you. It's, it's a sketch, sketch to sketching. me, and so maybe it would be done differently okay. as a. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's also funny to painted. think about what that creature is sneaking out of the water on the right side. <laughs> You know, is that a little dinosaur head? It kind of looks like it, but it's not really finished enough for me to imagine quite what it would look like. Yeah, I'm still on the same. Yeah, yeah. Pencil, I like that. I like home. that there are books, and I like that a, a nod to the Eric Carl Museum. Too. I, I do too. Yeah. You know, but um, maybe and the other one is a little generic looking. It's it's real generic yeah. looking, but it's yeah. okay. Wait, which one? Which one is? I'm sorry. The one the about with the um, child riding a bike and yeah, yeah, reading under oh. you know reading. So there's but Aguilar and, and there's the Hamel. Aguilar and Hamel are both like computer graphics. Um, yeah. So Hamel, we've already read, is an artist. It seems. Um, uh, what about the uh, Aguilar? Is that person? What's the name? I just, uh, I just want to know if they can realize their art on a 3D, you know, sculpt in, in, in on metal. I didn't look up Aguilar either, though. Let's see. Do we know what the full name is? Uh, in here somewhere. I mean, we can accept something with, a, you know. Monica Aguilar? Um, oh, she has um, Monica. Um, okay. She has what? I'm oh, sorry. Well, if these are hers, it looks like she's done a lot of painting on the sides of buildings and walls and things. Oh, so she's got some. Uh, oh, yeah, there's her Instagram. Okay. Yeah. So she, uh, she's got some uh, shops. Yep, she's done some. She's done some uh, mural work and et cetera. So I, I believe she could probably handle this. I think so. Yeah. So this is basically a sketch. I mean, some people use a computer for sketches. This would probably be realized, you know, differently on, on it with paint, but I think it would look really cool. So I like, I like both of them. I'm not sure which one I like better. <laughs> Yeah, she is a muralist, it looks like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and the other person, um, I wanted to look them up with it, but Brousseau or Brousseau? Brousseau. Sage, maybe? I don't, what do you know? Do we know what the first Danielle. name is? Danielle, D A N I E L L E. Did you want me to look up her name or do you already have it? I'm working on it. 
um, landscape artist. Um, hmm. Yeah. Take take a look. I'm I'm. Take take a look. Google okay, I'm looking at her at her Instagram. I I think I'm on the right Instagram. Yeah. Acrylics paint Danielle. Is that her? I I think I you know I'm Western not Western math artist. Um. Yeah, I I think so. So when I look at this, I'm I'm um because the other one has done murals and it looks. But some of them look like they could could translate into murals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a painter. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, we have a decision to make. This is tricky. Um, so we have two we've already chosen, correct? Yeah, two we, that we like. Well, I vote they... for the um. What is the top one's name again? The... Aguilar. Uh, yes, because we don't have the, well, I'm eliminating because of a copyright issue. Um, and I don't know what our time deadline is. So if we have time yeah. to consider the other one, then, you know, you can ignore this. But otherwise, I think that this top one would work well. Yeah, and I we agree. Can... And I do worry about copyright, too, and our well, timeline. Well, I think we can just have notes about how to make our call for submissions of things be more clear about mm -hmm. what we would be talking about. Yeah, I should have looked that over. I, I, I had copyright a busy, is. I've had a busy few months. That was on me. That's yeah, that's my, that's my okay. bad. It can. I we, know, and I know better because I, I, we do these for Arlington. I just, I've had a really rough um, spring, spring. Well, I didn't get fired. Let's just say that. I didn't get laid off from Hampshire College. So, yay. <laughs> Good. Um, so I liked Hamill and I liked Aguilar. Both of those were really cool, but I don't know which one I like better. We've we'll flip back and two. forth. Flip back and forth a couple of times then. All right. I like Hamill because it's got, it's so bright and cheery and it's got, it's got kids and a bus in it. And what was that person's full name? Uh, Hamill. Um, was one it second. Daniel? I had it here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Julia. Second. Julia Hamill. Her name is Julia. Yeah. I think the other one, top one, is they're both real generic and not that great, interesting looking. But I think the top one's a little bit, a little less generic. I I, I agree. Okay. I like that one too. I'll join uh, in on that for Aguilar, the top one. Okay, so we got we got we have our three chosen. Absolutely. Yes. Exciting. All right. And and we can encourage some of the the other people to try again. You know. Yes, they will be will be doing more maybe next year. Please resubmit for next year. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Um, It'll be fun to see them. Mm -hmm. There's there'll be some uh, work with, which which I will do in August. Um, I'll get in touch with uh, with public public works. Let okay. them know that we've made our choices. Ask them about the preparation of the surface. Um, that, that they want to suggest. Um, oh, that reminds me, there was another issue here. Take a... Uh, Is this the location of the boxes problem you wanted to go over? Yeah, the one of the boxes that we chose, this one here, this, um, this is um, in South Amherst. Um, this is East Hadley Road, I think it's called, and this is, uh, and there's a li cute little mill building, former mill building behind it. Um, this traffic light here really obscures the view of the, of that box, I think. 
from yeah. from from all angles no not from all angles hmm. but uh unlike any of the other boxes it obstructs it from some angles so you're suggesting that we try to switch I'm boxes su suggesting well here's what we have left the the, the two that are on the screen now uh-huh all right this one is is um frankly a little bit out of the way it's on east pleasant street uh back where you this is the umass fire department i know it yeah police department is here yeah a lot of people come up and turn as this car is to go down into campus the yeah. box is is out in a you know nice sunny place but unlike say the the box at um well, some of the other boxes, but particularly this one at uh, Big Y, I mean, that's going to be seen by thousands of people every year. Let's not do, let's not put any of these on that. On what? On the one that's most visible. Yeah, I want to, let's save let's that. Save it, like, let's save the most visible ones for when our, our call for admission, submission there you go. is clear. I, I think you should keep that on the one that's uh, on West Street. That's South Amherst is my my part of the town, and it's nice. It would be nice to have a little bit of art here. And that there's a lot of people driving by there, biking by there. That's on the way to Hampshire College. It's you know, okay. South Amherst doesn't have a whole lot of public art at all. So I think it's okay. a nice outreach to people who live in South Amherst. <laughs> okay. So we had we had chosen this one, um, and the one at at Big Y. That's two of them. And we'll see. And then the third one was here, Route 9 at Gatehouse Road. Uh-huh. Okay. Are we still okay with those? Well, does it, is it a done deal? No, or no, no. Are we choosing no, no. right now? No. Um, we had, we, we had made a decision, but there's no reason it has to, it has to stay there. Um, the only thing... See, out of this selection, we can't do this one because it uh, doesn't belong to the town of Amherst. Yeah, I see that it says that. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I, I ran these past the director of public works, and he's the one who flagged uh, for me that, um, that we can't do that one. And I don't know if I have a picture of it here, but... Um, he also ruled out here this one. Oh, he said it was okay. This is near Fort River School. This is East Street. Yeah. And Pelham Road. Uh, yeah. He said it's probably going to be removed in two years. Oh, that's too bad. That's a great location. But we can get that next year. Yeah. When it when it's a new box. Yeah. Well, um, my guess is they're going to put a roundabout there, and there won't be any. <laughs> Um, you think they're going to put a roundabout there? Yeah. That would be oh, awesome. Oh, definitely. Hey, they're going to put three roundabouts in my own neighborhood. Oh, bring we're it crazy on. about yes. them this now. We That's love so roundabouts here. We're going to be like I a do too. Roundabouts. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> and this, all this, traffic lights. this intersection really needs one. I I have yeah. to go to it every time I go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. it'd be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd um, be great. I think we ought to save the better views ones for the next round. Okay, I then. Agree. All right. Save the better views ones for the next round. We do the most okay. visible and the best locations. We can we can you know can, we do do those next year. Can we say which one should go on which box? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. You can do that. Well, but well, I, maybe that one that's so visible by Big Y would be nice to have that ice skater one on. Because mm -hmm. that's the most dynamic and interesting yeah. one there is. I agree with that. Yeah. So maybe we could suggest that that person gets that one. Okay. Um. So. So do we want? I'm I'm a little bit confused about um, whether we're proposing to remove any of the, this year's selections to save them. 
to see me in terms what? of the boxes were you talking about I, I heard something previous to save the one in front of the big wife for a later date or was it a different one that's the same confusion I'm having. No, oh, was I, that was that one of the ones we've already chosen, or is or is it not? Like, no, I said which, save it. I I did previously say, but I didn't understand that we didn't say anything about it, so I didn't know that was possible. Which ones are, are the three that we are decided? Because I okay, I think I'm what we decided, what we had decided was big Y, which is this one. That's probably oh, okay. the most visible. Okay. Save it. Okay, so we you know, by save it, we mean to take it out of this year, right? Yes. Okay, All right. We chose this one um, down by East East Hadley I Road. I think that's okay to leave in and have it okay. yeah. on there. Yeah. Me too, yeah. Okay, we'll keep that. Um, then there's this one at Gatehouse, Gatehouse Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what we had chosen. That's, very, that's a very visible one. That yeah. is yeah. very visible, yeah. And then Meadow at North Pleasant, that one, um, that's a good, that's a really good location. It's a good location. Um, Happy visible. It's, it's in the shade. The wraparound. Where, where, like where is the, Meadow and North Pleasant? It's up it's, by the North, uh, by the uh, North Amherst Library. Yeah, it's very close to the library. It's a block away. Mm -hmm. Oh. And this property here is the Black Walnut. Uh, oh, 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 I know where it is. Yeah. So, it's a, it's I, a really nice intersection that gets a lot of visibility. Yes. So I would put our, our, I'd put our best one there, which I don't know. I don't know which one that would be, but it's a good location. Okay. All right, again, just stepping back, recapping a little bit, our choices had been originally Big Y, East Hadley Road, and 116, and um, Route 9 at, at Gatehouse. So um, I think we oh, are- Are you sure? Is that true? Is that right? I thought we had chosen the uh, Meadow Street one. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. You know, one of the comments was that we were doing it for Mikey. <laughs> no, the Gay House uh, one, I I thought we approved. I, but I also thought we approved the one on Meadow. But well, that would make on, four. But I didn't. I didn't know we approved the Big Y one. Yeah. So we just need three tonight. We just need three. So I think I would hold off on the big Y one. All right. Hold off on big Y until next that's, year. That's what I think. What do you think, Lori? I think that's fine. Okay. Do we get it? Um, we... Well, so we're gonna we're gonna substitute um, Meadow for Big Y. Good, that's a good idea. Yep. Okay. okay, we will have. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think whether we need to decide tonight which one goes on which box, or whether we can do that in August. I think it for right now, we we could craft our message to the winners. And give them some uh, guidelines, maybe. I think that's a good first step. Um, and then the future communication after we meet again could be which one they're going to be painting. What do you think? I think it's more important to let them let the artist know that they have a winning submission yes. first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'll go out with my measuring tape and measure the size of the side panels. On the boxes. Okay. I think they'll be I think they're different. Yeah, uh, I think they're all they're all different. Boxes are all different. Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, even though we're not doing this one, you can see it's this is portrait mode. This is more square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and this is again a, a more square one but look it has a pretty deep side on it yeah that one does and it's visible from the side yeah yeah okay i'll i'll get those and we can we can factor them maybe in our august meeting okay that sounds good yeah yeah next year we see we get a really really explosive one to put on the big y yeah yeah, I think I'd like to extend our our uh, our call for artists to the college community so that the kids, you know, at UMass see it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think we uh, can, we can plan to start. We should do this before school lets out next yeah. spring. Yeah, yeah, we start a little bit earlier, and I'll I'll help mm -hmm. I'll, I'll help get those that together. Okay. Kind of didn't didn't do that this year. Okay, well. Well, guys, it's seven o'clock. I think we've done some good work. Um, let me just let me just take one minute to put in front of you the artist contract. Because here, here, I'll tell you what my thinking is. This has to do with our uh, mission and and such. I'm I'm thinking to crib some of some of the um rubrics that are here to repurpose in a, a kind of a general statement about what public art and how public art in Amherst works and if we look, so that would be working backwards from the from the contract that we ask artists to sign and if so if you look at this all right, there's an introduction, which is quite reasonable, uh, sh short, and then definition of what the project is, assurance of copyright, and then we get down into fee, if we're, pay we're paying a fee, and then get into, from five on down, has to do with the particulars of creating the work, getting access to the premises, mm -hmm um cooperation um now what i'm thinking um is that something like this not as an not as an amendment to the artist contract but taking this as kind of a the skeleton of a checklist of you know what is public art what do we expect uh what do we help with that we would find a, a new rubric somewhere maybe between two and three or just after it that has to do with um i don't know what to call it sponsorship or um uh, what i'm trying to get to get at is some evidence that you know public interest is being is being uh, served here. Uh, yeah, people have been people have been consulted. But there's public buy-in. Yeah, yeah public buy-in. Yeah, I can. I'll substitute for the moment as a just a placeholder the word buy-in. <laughs> uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. As this is written and formatted now, who is who is the audience for this? Um, it's the legal department of uh of the town okay it's not for the artist to read it oh yeah the, the artist reads this and signs it so it's a contract a legal contract yeah legal contract between the, the artist and the town so this was this was written by a legal person yeah, the a town. lawyer for the town because it seems it seems so contentious well, again, um, the contract. Jim isn't here, so I'll say it. That's the lawyers for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, and it, and because everyone on the commission is very open-hearted mm -hmm. and open-minded and in, to yeah. invite artists who are inexperienced and experienced yeah. mm -hmm. into anything that our commission is trying to proceed with for them. Yeah. This would be really off-putting to some people. Well, it was off putting I'm, to our artist of the Boltwood project. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, it was. What yeah, I'm, she, out, she output herself right out of the job. I remember. Me, yeah, no. I'm I, I what I'm thinking, thinking of that. But yeah, no, what I'm thinking 
is that we would have a document that is not this one. Yeah. Doesn't 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 read and smell like this one. Yeah. And that that's available that we put forward to the artist so that they know, you know, that, that ahead of time what kinds of things they they that will will expect. Yeah, I'm so, sure that there are many towns that have dealt with this and they probably have two different yeah. they have a contract and they have a detailed call for yeah. artists and information for them. That's I'm um true. I'm gonna send you all I was just there's a document that I thought was interesting to look at in in the more general sense of what we're doing um that is from Livermore Cal City of Livermore, California, called their okay. Policy and Procedures Manual, mm -hmm. and it's for their mm -hmm. Arts Public Arts Commission. Or I think arts. looking at examples so is a great I'm idea. I'm going to send that to you all because I think right. it's um just an example, and it's kind of long and more than what we would need, but it has a lot in it to think about. It kind of covers mm -hmm. a, a lot. I think it's um, great to look at other communities. Examples. I think so. I think you know we're not. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. No, we don't. and right. so uh, I think we can take the best of what we find that really relates to who we are as a town. The problem so, um, is the contract and the legal thing. I agree with you entirely. And the NESA found language like this to actually turn artists away and not make it inclusive. And yet here we're stuck with this because the legal people said we need something like this. Yeah. So okay. I, I feel like there's like, you know, there's the artist community and people like us who want to make art happen. And then we have to get to the law. And that's yeah, so the reason crazy. I'm talking about a new, uh, an, a, a, a new document. And I agree entirely. If we can crib from a, a good document from another town, then we'll do that. Yeah. But what I'm thinking is we, we want something to put forward to the artists so they don't get slammed. Yeah. The legal. Piece. That's yeah. a really good idea. Yep, I agree. Yeah, I've never liked the legalese of these so, this contract. Here's here's an example. It's a real example. It's coming up. It's live now. Um, that there's a, a an art professor at Amherst College teaching a public art course in the fall, and she wants her students to uh, paint a mural. Uh, like what would you call it? A mural, I guess, on the floor on the tiles at the entrance to the bang center and her project sounds good they're going to interview lots of people at the bang center um and you know its constituents and then they'll come up with an artistic design from that so so if we if we step back into the town standpoint um we don't want to find out that all right, this, when this is all done, that it's slippery and people fall and sue the town. All right, so, so what do we do? What we do is we tell them when, you know, when you've decided what you're going to do, contact Public Works Department, talk to them, and they can advise, you know, what kind of paint to use oh. if they're concerned. They may uh, say, let me interrupt no you for one second. I'm so sorry. Um, Jim Barnhill is actually waiting in the waiting room here. Apparently, we didn't see him. Can you, uh, uh, Tom? Can you uh, make him uh, bring him over? He's in attendees for participants. I can't. I don't have the power. Do you well, have that? No. Um, so under under participants on the bottom, just look no, on that. Again, um, this is. I don't have it because I'm just another citizen here. Angela has that that capability. oh she didn't give us that kind of power she should have given she it to you. yeah she should have she, yeah well only one person has it so she can't delegate it oh no she the, has to be able to we've done it before well it's yeah. a, okay but she didn't so is it is the bangs thing anything that has to do with this commission yeah it has to it, it will need to come to us i got um I had a I had an email from the director of the bank center saying, here's what we're going to do. And I wrote back to her and we wrote back and forth a couple of times. And basically what I said was, OK, good to know about this. Uh, get back in touch when this starts taking shape as a project. 
And I, I said, you know, the Public Arts Commission will be glad to, you know, to take it up at that time. And uh, and I, I said, we can also advise you on some of the um, uh, consultations and clearances you're going to need to get, you know, with the town. So Is I that said that all, I said that all to the to the director of the Bangs Center. So that's, you know, with summer vacation from the college, you know, nothing's happening now. Well, what what about like? This is another example where it feels like it's the cart before the horse, you know. Yeah. So we're trying to get trying to get a horse in front of that cart. Yeah, because because <laughs> anybody can just say, "Hey, I'm going to make this happen," and be extra friendly to somebody who's in yeah. the space, and they say, "Yeah, we'd love that." That's why I would like to get get us to a document that 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 um, you know deals with um, you know buy in. Because there's nothing anywhere. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. And then maybe, I'd also, I'd also maybe like I'll to... take that course at Amherst <laughs> College. <Yeah. laughs> there you go. <laughs> and but I'd like to, I'd like but to meanwhile, with... I want to bring up something that we talked about last time, if it's okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I mentioned that it would be kind of great for us to have guests. Yep. Like who would do a yes. brief 10, 15 minute presentation on mm -hmm. public art as they see it and has, as they have experienced it. Yes. And I, I ran this by um, the just recently ended her tenure at the Eric Carl Museum, Alex Kennedy, and she would love to visit us and talk okay. about public art. Awesome. Okay. That's great. And I'm yeah, sure you all have calendar. contacts and have ideas about other uh, people. And I think it'd be real good for us to, because for one thing, we would be being proactive yeah. and getting ourselves in contact with people who have really good experience. Mm -hmm. And that will help us when we make that case for them, the town to give us money. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's a great idea. Definitely. Very good. Do you want, would you feel comfortable inviting her on behalf of the commission? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, if you would do that, uh, you know, tell her that we do not have our meeting dates scheduled yet for August or September, but would would be glad to have her attend at the first uh, occasion that works for her. Okay. I will make a note of that and I'll invite her tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. You know, and maybe that person who's teaching a public art class at Amherst College would like to tell us. Sure, sure, we can we can have a we can have several. We can have a series. Yeah, of, I think uh, of that people. little series would be great. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I because I think that I have another crazy idea. I'm just going to tell it to you all, but you can just think I'm crazy okay um you know what UNESCO is U-N-E-S-C-O mm -hmm. they do a thing where they call little towns big towns cities of literature and you apply for it and I was thinking that for the 250th anniversary of Amherst it'd be pretty cool to get UNESCO to name it a city of literature mm -hmm. Cool. I think that's a fantastic idea. But it would take the, the our commission to not do the work, but to support it. Mm -hmm. I could find people to do the work. Yeah. Oh wow. But it's a and it's kind of big idea. And mm -hmm. I did look up all the things you had to do to apply for it, and it's a significant amount, as you would expect. But I think it would be a very big feather in the cap of the art commission yeah. to uh, propose something that's actually got um, that's ambitious. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. lovely idea. And given the history and the oh my people god, who have been here. We have the yeah. Emily Dickinson Museum people yeah. will probably join in this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, that's a great historical, idea. Amherst uh, historical. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. plenty, plenty history, plenty of, plenty literary stuff. Yeah. That's yes. a great idea, Dara. Thank you. 
-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can even give you all, send you all, or yeah, whatever is the appropriate do way that. to do it. I can send you a pretty, mm -hmm. not complete, but pretty amazing list of writers who have been here mm -hmm. and have a real experience with this town and mm -hmm. have lived here and all kinds of good things. Oh, I'd, I'd love to see those. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it'd be, I mean, I think being ambitious, even if you fail, is mm -hmm. a very inspiriting thing for people. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah, cool idea. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll look more into it. And how would be the best way for me to give you all preliminary background about it? I think you can you you can put together what um you know what you would like to as assemble from information if you'd like to put some thoughts uh, uh -huh. with you and just send it to all of us and then we'll hold it and and discuss it the next time we meet. Yeah. I think I think that that allows us to dance through the uh, open meeting requirement. Okay. So I can send it to all of you and yeah. then you would put it up. Okay. So yeah. I'll make it pretty short. I'll make it short, but, yeah. but um, have some substance to it. Well, there in my case, I'll tell you what I always told my staff members over my working career as a bureaucrat. Uh -huh. I said, look, I have a PhD. That means... I have a license to learn and you can't give me too much to read. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. okay. All right, let's um let's let's adjourn the meeting on this uh happy high note that we have here. All uh, right. Um I'll find find a way to turn off the uh the bah, bah, bah. The, the recording that don't don't worry about it i'll okay. make a motion to um to um adjourn okay we have a second my second a second all right okay. we're all in all favor right. all in favor <laughs> bye. bye okay all right thank you very much everyone okay. Thank, you. thank you okay bye-bye bye-bye you all bye-bye